peace Nigeria. and grand Nigeria. rising to the air. Um, today is August the 27th, 1440 on the sun calendar, 1441 on the moon calendar, and 2020 uh, on the Greco-Roman calendar. Uh, this is going to be interactive because we do need to, you know, this is not just me talking or me sharing. It's also um, hearing what you all have to say as well because we need to hear from the heirs, the justices, the consuls, the sovereigns. We need to hear uh, what's going on with you as well. So I do have some questions. We're going to talk um, uh, today about so this is this is really important with regard to where we're going as a nation, why we're here, and uh, some things that we can uh, put into practice with regard to nation building and how to move, continue moving in that direction. Where we're going right now as a nation, as the the sovereigns that we are, we are first of all the farthest outside of the capitalist system uh, on the public record than we've been in our lifetime. We've never been this far out of, outside of the capitalist system on the public record. Uh, we know that we've never really been in that system uh, because that's a citizen system and we're not citizens. Um, no, we're Islam. Um, we're Islam. Not, we're not citizens. Uh, and so um, we're in a new place, but we're doing just an awesome job just based on what we're seeing all across the board and as well as when we take a, a, a quick peek, because we don't look at them for long, but when we take a quick peek at the subject, you know, the corporation uh, that used to be in charge of things here. Um, when we look, take a peek over there, we already know we're doing exactly what we should be doing, Islam. So with regard to um, nation building, um, because we've had lots of questions from Moors about what's going on, about what we're doing, okay? And we want to address some of that. Specifically this. What you put into your nation is what you will get out of it. What you put into your nation is what you'll get out of it. And I'll say it one more time because it's a spell. What you bring to your nation and put into it is what you're going to get out of it, except you're going to get a lot more out of it than, um, than you put in. You're going to get a lot more out of it than you put in. But again, we have to think about how that works, okay? Um, just a couple of questions. If you're not nation building, then what are you doing? What are you doing? What's keeping you busy? What's keeping you from nation building? We need to think about that and look into our own lives and see what is it that is keeping us from nation building. And if your demonstrations are just for your benefit, then is it reasonable to call on your nation for assistance when you demonstrate when your demonstration does not go as you have planned it? If it's if you're only demonstrating for yourself. Now we know that we have built into all of our documents where we're demonstrating for all more. Okay? We're demonstrating as one, as a unit. And it's not for more because no one represents anyone. But when we take back our estate, we're taking it back and saying we're all taking it back, okay? What is nation building? What does it mean to you, and what does it look like when it's fully manifested? That's another question. What did we look like before we shifted our focus to nation building? What did we look like? That was a, a hot mess, actually. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad before we shifted to, to nation building, what we looked like before. Um, I can just 
you know, think back to when I first nationalized um, and then when I shifted my focus to nation building, the difference between what things looked like to me then versus what they look like now. Uh, then I felt a little more helpless as if there was nothing I could really do about some of the things that were going on on our land. But then when I shifted my focus to nation building, I see that there's nothing we cannot do with regard to the resources on our land and the foreigners on our land. There's nothing we can't do. No one can tell us no. No one. It's wrong. And um, then another question, and this is really important, what are we willing to do for our freedom, for our nation, and for our nation's prosperity and longevity, and also what are we willing to do to secure the estate for our heirs? What are we willing to do? Okay. And we're going to discuss some of the things, and, and, and I would just like for us to think about some of the things we did when we were in the corporate setting, some of the things we did just to get a paycheck out there. Just, just, just think about all the hoops and the trying to get the quote-unquote education and working 40 and 50 and 60 and 70 and 80 hours a week for that, for some more enslavement, actually. What can each of us do for our nation in order to add the synergy of our vast, rich, universal, ancestral legacy to all that we're doing to build our nation. Because we, <laughs> Empress Malo, yes. <laughs> um, we, we have to think about it some, because sometimes when we're doing this work, some get tired or some say, you know, I'm doing all of this. Well, what am I getting? What is, what is this doing for me? <laughs> you know, and it's like, well, what did all of that out there do for you? What did that do? What did it do for you, and what do you have to show for it today? All that, that, that was done out there. And I'm talking about from kindergarten, kindergarten, all the way up to college. What, um, oh, okay, just a moment. What, um, what, is, what, what all was done? What all was done? What did you do out there? I mean, some of us. Broke our necks practically. Some of us broke our necks practically out there, trying to jump through those hoops and 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 get this and obtain that and get this certification and and go to this school and get all of this and get that. And in all by getting, did we get overstanding out there that that was not where we were supposed to be? Did we get that? Did we get it and do we still get it now? What are we willing to do for our nation? Okay. What can each of us do for our nation in order to add that synergy? Because there are many of us, and I know everyone on this call is as well, working very diligently and very vigorously and just – getting that overstanding that is needed to do these demonstrations, I already know that. So this is more so for those who will be hearing this once it goes out onto the public record. How far are we willing to go for our ascendance, for our legacy, for our vast estate, for our sovereign status as the heirs to all land, all natural resources, and all commerce? And in the coming days, weeks, and months, we're going to venture into those places okay, where we actually talk about some of the things that we really need to talk about that would be normally considered the sacred cow, basically, and that's for lack of a better word, those areas that we uh, have been afraid to, to talk about or touch because they're sensitive, we need to go into those areas so we can move past them, so we can graduate past them. So we will be slaughtering some sacred cows over these next few weeks and months. Because that's the one thing that we um, have been shy to do because of the criticism that comes from pointing out 
the areas where we need, where we need to come up and better assist one another in coming up. The emphasis are ready. I see in the chat. Bring it on. Yes. <laughs> so, um, you know, that was one of the first things that I had to do, and I do it daily. I have to, to keep taking in my own inventory first before I can assist anybody else, and that's actually in the Circle 7, which I did. I, I, I had read it before, but it really hit home today. Uh, chapter 4, uh, verse 12 in the Circle 7 um, the Holy Quran of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, divinely prepared by noble prophet Drew Ali. Uh, chapter 4, verse 12 says, To teach men to be pure in heart, you must yourself be pure in heart and work and deed. And many, many, many of you, many of us, you, us, all of us, are actually... Many price days. At a, at a place right now, welcome, Empress, at a place right now where we're going to actually be teaching those that are coming. And so we have to get our energy ready for that, and it does not matter your age, because there are going to be some of the teens that will be teaching. There are going to be some of the uh, more mature of us, watch it, watch it, that will be teaching, and we we right now is the time to get our energies in alignment and synergized and together so that we can do that uh, with a pure. Let me read it again: pure in heart, work and deed. Islam. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to to bring up uh, something specifically with regard to that. Uh, because we've been we've been talking to Moors lately about this specific thing. Anyone coming to their to their nation with their hand out, it's a sacred cow. So get ready, feelings. Get the feelings out out of the way because it might it's going it's going to step on just one or two toes. Not 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 many, just one or two. Not yours. I just just one or two. Go by. Islam, welcome. Um. Anyone coming to their nation with their hand out looking for what you can get will only receive frustration, disappointment, discouragement, anger, poverty, etc. Why is that? That's because each and every one of us has already been given talents, skills, knowledge, gifts, and ability beyond all others on earth. Okay, no. beyond all others on earth, there are many others on the earth who see the heirs and say, I wish I had that genetic makeup or those that brain power or the, the, the metaphysical abilities, etc." Always looking at the air, saying, "You air, y'all, you, 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 you've got, to, you've been given too much already, and you're not using it. So how do you expect it to multiply?" So each and every one of us has been given that, and we should be bringing that, even if you think it's just a little bit. We should be bringing that to the nation so that our gifts can be manifested and multiplied for the uplifting of fallen of all of fallen humanity. Many of us came here with skills again that we 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 went through what they call hell and high water to get those degrees. We neglected children and and responsibilities, didn't clean up and all of that trying to study. You know. Come on, let's let's tell the truth. Um, can you all hear me? Okay. Uh, Empress Sabrine, they, uh, they can hear. They can hear. Okay, good. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Islam, thank you. Um, and so, here, just a moment. And so, um, we, we, we went through a whole lot. But then, 
when we come over here, it seems like we get a little sensitive when someone says something about workload, et cetera, you know. It seems like we get a little touchy about that, okay? And that is actually, you know, something that just needs to be pointed out. Hold on for just a moment. I think there is a little bit of chat. Yeah. What color is that we want to get in? They're not green. 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 Just I'll green. 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 Okay, there we go. Um, and so, you know, when we get over here, I mean, in the corporate setting, they did some of everything, treated folks like garbage, um, demoting, overlooking, firing, talking to you like you're garbage. I mean, really. And we still stayed and we still put our best foot forward and we still worked hours and hours and hours and hours, hours, endlessly trying to obtain, obtain, obtain. Who wants to go back to that? <laughs> uh, no. Who wants to go back to that? Yes. And they did have you train your replacement, Islam, who was not nearly as smart but got paid twice as much, Islam. But then when we come over here and we are awakened and we see that we have the entire estate to govern, Sometimes we get a little touchy and testy and, and our feelings get soft and they get hurt really easily and, you know, that sort of thing, you know. Um, we want to be sure that we keep all of this in mind. What we were willing to do over there, we should be willing to do more so over here because it has everything to do with our vast estate, everything to do with our vast estate, and if nothing else, more we're self-governing. We don't have to go to those fake courts anymore. That was the main drag for me. I don't know about anybody else, but that was the problem for me, is I'm not going to be running in and out of that mess. Not at all. Not at all. That's not going to happen. And so now that we have that freedom and we've got a little room, breathing room, okay, we got some breathing room. Uh, we we need to focus, you know, it, it, it is incumbent upon us to grow our government and to grow our nation and to focus on the all now. Yes, do the demonstrations that are going to set you free throughout the, your daily lives when they, you know, there's attempts to uh, bring you back into that capitalist system. Do those demonstrations, yes, do them. Assist yourself, save yourself because we can do it. Many of us have done it and continue to do it. That's an ongoing process. Nation building is an ongoing process. Okay? Nation building is an ongoing process as well. So this is something that we have to continue to do repeatedly, okay? Um, because our government is more important and the payoff to our heirs, okay, the payoff to the heirs, our prosperity and our ability to govern our own vast estate and our own vast resources. See, that's where we're going, to govern our own vast resources. That's our job, actually. That's no one else's job. That's our job. That's our job. but we can't do it if we're not competent to do it. And now we're at liftoff. We are at takeoff on that. We're at takeoff. We're ready to go. We got this. We got it. The energies have to be cleared up because that's a part of competence, and it's, just, it's an ongoing process, that's, and that has to be done day by day by day. You know, energies, we have to continue to clear our energies and come to the table bringing something. Bring your talents. Bring your talents and gifts and abilities 
to the nation and build and build and build and build and your study ability build and build and your sharing ability when you study something bounce it off your brothers and sisters so that we can continue to grow and continue that energy and synergy Islam so you know Again, while we were asleep, we were willing to eat ramen noodles and stay up for days, et cetera, et cetera. And we went where the corporate said go, and we did whatever they said to do. And so we have to come to our nation with the same determination times 100 million exponentially. We have to be willing to do that. And this is the, the law of our, of our nation. It's always been the law of the universe. If we come to our nation with empty hands out, bringing nothing, yet looking for everything, we are setting ourselves up for nothing but frustration, lack, poverty, and even death, and we will have no one to blame but ourselves. When we come with our hands out, okay, and the hand is empty and you haven't brought anything, any talents, gifts, study, something you learned, something you are demonstrating. You haven't brought anything. Guess what's going to be multiplied? The nothing you brought is going to be multiplied because that's actually the law. That's the natural law because whatever energies we bring, those energies continue to multiply. And so if you're frustrated and you're angry, then that's just going to grow if you don't clear it. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Islam in the chat. Yes. Islam. So every time we go into a place or a meeting or anything, speaking of multiplying energy, when we leave that place, it should be better because we were there. We should, it should be better. Whatever meetings we come to, it should be better because we were there, whether we brought the peace energy because the meeting was a little heavier or whether we contributed to the meeting. And any place that we go on our land should be better because we've been there. Even when we're educating those who need to be educated and then erudition with those who need who, that we're sharing, the sovereigns that we're sharing with, the erudition piece, where we exchange erudition energy. Okay. And so as we continue to clean our intentions, okay, because everything is about our intentions, if, as we continue to clean our intentions, our lives will be better and more prosperous. This place and this time that we're in right now is the, is the liftoff. It really is the liftoff. It really is. We're in the same place that we were in sort of, sort of, in um, 19, between 1929 and 1935 or 36, somewhere around there. We're in that same place where the change has to take place. And during that time period, even though they call it the Great Depression, the word depression is in all capital letters because it was not a Great Depression for the, those who started the Federal Reserve. It was not a Great Depression for them. In fact, they had more then than they ever had in their lives. And that shoe is on your feet now. It's our turn. Islam. I'm just looking in the chat. Is the more yes, absolutely. Anytime you want to chime in and 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 and, and say say any of that, because that's all beautiful, beautiful stuff. The ancient scrolls say to the righteous, and that's the righteous is those with noble intentions. It will be well with you and your ascendants, and you shall prosper. And to the wicked, and that's those with 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 intentions that are selfish or self-centered, you shall bear the fruit of your intentions or your works. Again, what you bring is going to be multiplied. It's going to be multiplied. 
So now I, I would love to open the floor um, to hear from you. What are some obvious signs of a healthy nation so that we can know this moving forward and know what to look for as we continue to demonstrate? What are some obvious signs of a healthy nation? And it has to be, you know, we let's go ahead. Islam. 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 Communication, talking yes. with each other. Talking all the time. In fact, we got them so much, we get tired of each other about nation building. Yes. That's a sign of yes. healthy nation. Yes. Staying in touch with one another. That's right. Islam. Islam. Islam, Empress. Another sign of a healthy nation is that one more or several mores are not trying to take advantage of another more, whether financially or otherwise. Yes. 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 Islam. Islam. So having Islam. each other's Islam. best interests at heart. Islam. Islam. Having, yes. a, having a guidepost that all mores can look forward and work to to know that we're making a milestone going forward. Very important as well. So setting milestones, is that what you're saying? Yes, so that so that all of us seeing that milestone has been accomplished can realize and see and have something to work for and see it so that we don't have to ask or, you know, guess. But it's a it's a it's a unifying effort. Uh, so yes. That's that's really good. That's really good. That's important, actually, because even the ancient scrolls say, write the vision and make it plain so that those who see it can take it and run with it. Yes, wrong. Okay, so that we know what to do and where to run, which direction to go in, yes. where our talents can be used, where our talents can be used. Yes, um. Let's take that a little step further also, Justice. One, I, 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 I want to bring up a few milestones that were set two years ago, two and a half years ago, when the consulate first came into, uh, was restored from our perspective, okay, uh, and when Grand Chief Taj Tariq Bey agreed to uh, be the consular general. Some of the milestones that we set in place at that time were that we would assist more Moors with being nationalized than uh, ever before, really. We've met that milestone. We've met that milestone. From day one, we met the milestone. More Moors, thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Moors, all over the earth have been nationalized and have been introduced, and millions have been introduced to their nationality, whether they went through, uh, whether they took, got the paperwork through us or someone else, many of them, all over. We've gotten calls and emails and letters from everywhere, all of the land asking about nationality and how they should do it in their, on their land. Um, so we've made that, – that was the, the, the major milestone right there. That was the one that we really wanted to meet, you know, because it was so important. Um, another major milestone uh, that we set back then was to get our courts up and running. And we knew to do that, we actually had to change out the money system because our courts could not operate. Um, our courts could not operate with fiat. They couldn't be fiat-driven courts. They had to be gold-backed courts. And we've done that. So we've, uh, more as you are to be congratulated. Those milestones have been met and superseded, exceeded and superseded. So much, I mean, there's just, 
I could go on with the milestones that have been met. Another milestone that's been met um, is that uh, when we first started the consulate, we wanted to empower Moors, um, assist in empowering them because Moors empower themselves, okay? But we wanted to assist the Moors, a high number of Moors, in empowering themselves to know that they are the law on the land. And the court piece has addressed that as well as a lot of the other uh, processes have addressed that and met and superseded that goal. Another goal that we set was we wanted the Moors to have remedy for things that were happening to them that they could do without having to go to someone else, okay? Without having to say, well, I need the consulate to do this and do that. No, you're the consulate. And so what the leaning process assisted with, with empowering the more to take action. And the leans have scared the, I don't mean, because you can't say life because they're already dead, but it has really put some uh, muscle behind the things we say. And so um, that's another goal that we set that we wanted to uh, meet. At, and, and every goal was geared toward uh, and is geared toward empowering the sovereign, assisting the sovereigns to empower themselves is a better way to put that. Because the Moors are the are the are the are the sovereign, and only a sovereign can empower himself or herself. No one can do that outside of us. We actually have to do the study to empower ourselves. So that's another major goal that we set at the time, and we met and succeeded because Islam. So many um, because so many uh, Moors have done that process. So um, there are other um, milestones that we've met. Um, the public record looks totally different today than it did when we first um, started. The public record looks completely different. It is so overwhelmed and infiltrated with more sovereign documents that it's just it's amazing. Um, and when that many heirs speak, Again, everything has to stop. Hold it. Everybody put on a mask and be quiet so we can hear these airs. And so this year to be congratulated. And I'm so excited for our nation at this point because we're just, we superseded every goal we set thus far. We still have a long way to go. We know that. We have a lot of work to do. We have a long way to go. Uh, we still have heirs who are incarcerated, and they need to empower themselves to bring themselves out of there by their own sovereign proclamation, and we can assist them with that. That's how we are to assist. The things that we're learning out here while they're being tested in there, we can share it with them. That's what we're supposed to do. Share everything, and that's why we put everything on the public record. That's why we put our calls on the public record, so that if they get an opportunity to listen, they can listen too, and they've been doing that and learning some things and, and freeing themselves and getting themselves out of those situations. Uh, I was one of, I got my, I, I had to get myself out in 2000, uh, it was the end of 2017 to the beginning of 2018 because there was no consulate to do it, that I could call, you know, so we can get ourselves out. But we do have to, um, those of us that are out and doing these demonstrations, we have to keep doing them and keep sharing our lab work and the results of our lab work, both positive uh, results and negative results as well. And to me, there are no negative results because we're learning to navigate, you know. So, um, and then uh, there, are, there are other goals that we set at that time. Um, and I'd, I, at some point we're going to ask uh, 
our uh, former co-counselor general, Justice Shalay Moore Bay, to come on and um, and go over those goals that we set so that we can see um, just how many of them we set. And then again, the ones that we set, we're still not done. There are still, we're actually, the ones that are here now are preparing for the onslaught, the deluge of Moors that are coming. And that's why we're putting processes in place and perfecting those processes and demonstrating those processes and seeing, okay, this this gave me the result I wanted, but this one didn't. So let's tweak this one and fix this one up and try it again and see what happens. Or we'll set it to the side or we'll add something to it uh, or something. Or we'll share it and see what the Moors have to say. So that we so that by the time the deluge comes and they're so on their way already from all over, all over the earth, yes, in the chat, they are coming. It's it's a huge wave that are that's coming. Why? Because to this point, up to now <laughs> up to now, we've been uh in a protective bubble while we learn to stand, we've been, in, and we know that. Uh, that's why we can do, um, we can do a, bit, a court action and, and mention the word decapitation and nobody go crazy because we've been in a protective bubble, so to speak, while we stand. Uh, and I'm, appreciate, I'm appreciative for that protective bubble. Uh, we didn't do anything wrong. We did everything right, all of us. And um, in the bibliotheliotech, they call it the restrainer. And for us, a restrainer is not is not what they say it is. It's not in all capital letters. It's what it should be. It is, is protection for the air. And um, uh, that's why the videos, you know, we, we but we're good with that. We're we're okay with that. Uh, but at some point that bubble is going to be lifted by us. We have complete control over it. Um, and when we're ready for the bubble to be lifted, the, then the message is going to do what it does, and the mores are going to come, and we're going to be 100% ready. We're going to be ready. We're already ready, um, but we, we want to get some uh, get the processes and things, um, make sure that they're what they should be, and that's through testing, and that's what we're doing now. We are testing the processes, tweaking them, putting them together, um, putting them on the public record, and then sometimes when we do processes, for example, um, there are some processes that we put on the on the public record previously that now that we've learned more, we don't necessarily have to quite do it that way. We can do it a different way that's a, a better. And so um, not that those processes are wrong, because they're not wrong, but we can, we, we're, we're constantly improving, constantly improving, continuously improving. And so um, we do want to um, continue our improvement process, be flexible, be ready to make the changes that we need to make so that we can um, be ready for our brothers and sisters who have been waiting for us to wake up so that they can be nationalized too. But the sovereign primogenitors are the ones who have to do it. The work is ours to do. And so um, we're going to keep moving forward with that. Um, anyone else? Any other, uh, I, can, I can say this about uh, a healthy nation. Signs of a healthy nation, now this one is a little bit different from some of the things we talk about, but to me it's important. Sign, an obvious sign of a healthy nation is that the people are healthy in mind, body, and soul. And by healthy in this particular piece, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, pick on our younger mores a little bit, just a little, because I know y'all pick on me all the time. I'm gonna pick on you just a little bit. Um, us 
uh, those of us who are more mature, we should not be able to outrun you all and outwork you and, and outstudy you and all of that. We should not be able to do that. You all should be because you're young. You're young. You're vibrant. You have the most advanced DNA on the earth, and it's not DNA, it's ONA, but you have the most advanced genetics on the earth. And so, you know, that's important. That's a sign of a healthy nation is that the youth are healthy and that the more mature parents are healthy. The emperors and empresses are healthy. And so we're working on that as well. And uh, I'll, I'll put this one little tidbit out there with regard to that. Anyone, no matter who you are, who wants to be healthier, eat less food and drink more water. That's the key. And always drink more water than the amount of food you eat. Water, water, water. That's why our ancestors always lived. They had fresh water running everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. How did they do that? Well, since, since, since we went to sleep, they put fire hydrants over all of the fountains that used to be up just on every block, you know, uh, where we lived in our Moorish sovereign communities. Uh, they put fire hydrants over them. But those used to be beautiful fountains where we could come and just, it was just, it was water, water, water everywhere. Free. Uh, beautiful water everywhere. Everywhere. So um, that's important. And then another sign of a healthy nation to me, yes, another sign of a healthy nation is that we can sharpen one another in every area of the sciences that we discuss while still maintaining our peace, our nobility, and our unity. And in reality, our love for one another and our peace and our unity is not on the table when we're having our discussions about what, how things should be on this estate. It's not even on the table. We're going to love each other regardless. But we have to have some tough discussions about how, where to go next. And I will say this about the Albion. They did teach us, you know, just from looking at the way they've been doing things, they talk about each other like dogs. I mean, they just dog each other out, um, all types of stuff, and then they are right back together meeting up, doing things, you know, uh, supposedly, or at least they make it look that way. They're good at making things look like it's not what it's not really, you know, what it isn't for real. And so um, we, we need to have some tough discussions coming up soon because we got some, you know, as we continue the ascension, uh, we're going to be discussing things that can be a little bit controversial, especially where commerce is concerned, uh, because we are moving. We have already moved into sovereign commerce uh, as a nation, and we're going to have to have the tough conversations, but we have to be ready for them, because guess what? We don't have any Albion intermediary between what we're doing. We don't have any uh, Albion intermediary in what we're doing. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to. Um, yes. Empress Cynthia, are you there? Okay. I just want to make sure you can hear. I'm sorry. Um, Thank you so much. I can hear. Yes, the good. Day. Thank I'm you. Here. Thank it's, you. Islam. I just, yes, Islam, Empress. I just want to make sure you can. Um, and so um, we can sharpen one another as we have these tough decisions, and we are going to have to kind of leave the feelings off to the side a little bit while we have these tough discussions so that we can put the law in place where, it, where all of that's concerned. And in reality, the law is already in place. We just have to know them as well. A nation that is disciplined and healthy and upright can govern all lands 
all natural resources and all commerce. And we're there. We're there. We can do it. We got it. We're already there. So I love what, what you all said thus far about communication, about not taking advantage of one another, where uh, fiat and things is concerned. We don't even deal with fiat. We don't even deal with it. And um, we have to get to the point where we know the difference between sovereign credit and, and, and such, um, but still not taking advantage of one another. You know, the ancestors do not honor that energy, and nothing we do will be blissed if we do that, if we operate in that kind of energy. Because, again, just like I was reading in the Circle 7, to teach men to be pure in heart, you must be pure in heart and, and work and deed. And we actually have to teach that to the rest of the nations because all they've known is Albion energy, war energy, you know. Albion Islam, war energy, Islam empress. Islam, I, you think that there's still some deep, well, we know there's some deep, uh, deep programming that needs to go on with a lot of us because, you know, uh, there's still there's still something that we hold back in the past when, uh, we were working, we've done this many times, but in specific, I'll just reference, quote unquote, Black Wall Street, working together uh, amongst uh, each other. I mean, the commerce was high. We had everything. We didn't need them for anything. <laughs> Anybody outside, we had yeah. all, all, all what we need. But yet, there's others who infiltrated, and then the next thing we know, we're getting bombed. <laughs> We're kidding. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, and I yeah. and I wonder if there's still some of that that fear energy that's still there among our our people because of that. It's yeah. not my. Does anyone want to to address the fear piece? Um, I can say this about about quote unquote Black Wall Islam. Street. Black Wall Street was bombed because they thought they were black and they, 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 they were trying to operate in a capitalist system as sovereign. That's why they were bombed. Uh, go ahead, Justice. No, I was just saying, you know, psychological trauma is very real. And even though they didn't know they were Moors, the psychological trauma of that being as disassociated yeah. with the Moors still is intact. And I would say that there's a lot of psychological trauma still going on, which increases the fear factor and impedes our progress. So, yes, I think some of it's still there, but with the knowledge of being born again more, you can throw that all away, really. Yes. Yeah. Islam. Islam. Yes, I would like to speak on that as well. Um, yes. I have this conversation with my um, husband from time to time, and when he was just speaking about the psychological trauma, and I've asked my um, husband, if something traumatic happened to you or happened to um, a family member, we would more than likely say in the end result, if we don't see any progress with that person, you need to get some professional help. You need to speak with somebody, mm -hmm. try to go to see a psychologist. And I yeah. asked him, why do we do that? And his answer was because, you, you know, they're not able to cope and deal with what they're dealing with. So I said to him, think about all the trauma that our people have gone through mm -hmm. and have never been able to honestly cope. So you are going generation after generation without the skills to cope, um, without the conversation with elders. You have some elders that don't want to talk. You, I can just say, for example, um, my husband's grandmother passed, and she never wanted to talk about Georgia. So that's going to be a, a part of him that he will never be able to get that experience from and understand because of whatever the trauma was, it kept her from visiting that again. So I just think we're just, we are all in some way, shape or form constantly dealing with trauma and not understanding that it could be trauma from 
your ancestors a hundred years ago, and you you know it's not being addressed, and we keep passing this stuff on and not really taking the time to find out why do we keep repeating these things and why some of these things keep happening. I yield. Yes, that's that's beautiful uh, that you brought that up, Empress, because we keep keep in mind now. Um, I it is it is. Uh, hold for just a moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute for just a moment because there's a little bit of feedback coming from that line. Um, keep in mind now that the trauma that we have experienced as a nation and as a people. Um, there were no coping mechanisms that could help that uh, that were sufficient for us simply because, well, uh, let me let me reword that. Animal coping skills are not for the heirs. And that's all that we really had uh, to deal with during our in our sleep. And so we have sovereign ancient methods that we are now called to bring forth. And that's what I was saying about what are you bringing to your nation, what you bring to the table. Some of you know those ancient, they're being revealed to you even now, those ancient coping mechanisms those ancient healing, it's actually not even coping, it's healing. It's full healing. And then not only healing, but the best use of that energy. We all, all we need is each other. And, and openness to the ancestral Akashic record. That's what we need. In fact, that's mandatory, actually. Because Nothing will heal the air like our ancient true Moorish sciences. Islamism is just like our Empress Delilah Pasty L uh, said the other day. Islamism is I self law am master in science and math. That's what the ism is. It's in science and math. I, self, law, and master in all of that. And then, yes, Empress Michelle, you want to say a little bit more about that because that's so powerful. That's exactly where I'm going with this, with the heirs and our ONA. Empress Michelle, do you want to say a little bit about that, the, the self-healing piece? Um, I just wanted to remind everybody that we have, our bodies are designed. They have the ability to heal themselves, and we just have to have the right conditions. And um, whether, for, for me, I, I like to look at it um, in terms of, all five of the senses being satisfied in order for us to have that complete balance. And it is a, a balancing act. So um, the five senses being the, the basic five senses, this sight, seeing, taste, touch, and smell. And what we look at is important. What we hear, you know, is important. We have to be conscious of all of those things, what we put in our bodies, Empress Light was speaking about water and how important that is. And you know that the prophet spoke about water and how important that is. So it's only when we go against the laws of nature is when we have the illnesses and the other things. So as much as we can, yes, and study ourselves, as much as we can, pay attention to ourselves and our environment. And, and, um, take some control over that. Islam, I yield. Islam, thank you for that, Empress. Uh, if, you all, if you all will notice, the earth is preparing itself even now for us to be cleaner and clearer. Um, I posted some photos on social media of some of the places around the earth 
and how the air was so smoggy and dirty prior to this whole quote unquote coronavirus business. And then after the lockdowns, only it only took two or three months. And the air is now so clean and so clear, even in places like Los Angeles, uh, California's Khalifa territory. Um and, and, and other places, even even at places that are as bad as Beijing, China, where, where the air was completely a hot mess, their air has cleared. And that is, again, the earth preparing itself for the airs to walk in a purified, on a purified land that is their estate. Okay. Uh, Islam, I did not either. Um, in the chat, Empress Genesis says that she never knew Los Angeles territory had such beautiful mountains in the background. I never knew that. I knew the Hollywood, they called it the Hollywood Hills, but that just was a hot mess up there with all them fake, that stuff up there. Um, you know, letters and things that they had going on up there. I don't even know what that was all about. It's in all capital letters. So you know, capitalism took over the hill, uh, but that is no more. We, we, we're done with that, too, um, and that stuff will be coming down. But I, I did not know that, that the mountains were so beautiful in that territory. I have no idea that they were that beautiful. Um, so that's, again, the earth is, is clearing itself. Even the grocery stores are, are starting to clear out some of those things that were not the right things for the heirs to thrive. Okay. So um, it's going to be a process. It's going to take uh, uh, some time over the next few months and years uh, for everything to clear up because we're, it's actually, we're clearing up 150 years worth of madness in a very short time. Look, it only took three months for the air to clear after years, decades of pollution caused by capitalism. I'll say that again. The air was polluted along with everything else, basically, caused by capitalism. That's people going back and forth to work in conveyances that just were not good or safe for any of that, um, trying to obtain some fear, you know. And so as it, as it stands, a healthy nation, even as, and, and, and let that be, let that be a, just let the, let the earth bear witness that when the air get cleaned up and wake up, that everything around us is going to do the same. Everything around us is going to do the same. It's already showing. And all we have to do is keep doing what we're doing and watch how clean and clear our estate becomes. Yes. Empress Mini, Price Bay, Justice Mini says everything we need to have a healthy nation is within us. Yes, that's beautiful. So true. Because when we don't need all of the garbage, the garbage will leave. Oh, yes. Islam? Justice, Justice Yuzurel, can you read that, please? Could you just mention that? That's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Ooh. Yes, uh, Yuzuriel yes. Perez Bay, North Carolina Territory. Yeah, I was I was just thinking as you were as you were speaking, uh, Malachi four two. Yeah. For those, uh, yeah, where it says, for those who revere my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. Yeah. And I I just yes. thought that was so apropos. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am. Yes. Thank you for that. That's beautiful. 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 And very appropriate. 
and those who honor my name. It's actually the titles of nobility that, the, that are that name, the bloodline and the birthright. That's the name that must be honored. Honor thy fathers and mothers so that thy days may be long upon the land which the law has given thee. And that's actually a mistranslation when they say upon the land which the Lord thy God has given thee because we're the Lord and the God of the land. Huh? So that's a bit of a, a mistranslation. That's a mistranslation. No, I'm listening. Islam. And they know that. Islam. Yes, this is Jeremiah. Oh, it's going to be an hour. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. I was going to stay quiet through this entire session, but no, I can't. Okay, so <laughs> um, the place where we're at right now seems to be a place of um, uh, what would be called intense pressure to do something or to hide or to um to go fight or something like like something it seems to be however the place we're at right now is to recognize that all the things that were working for all the years while everybody thought that they were under someone's control that place is still here. What is different is the realization that all the things that we thought were controlling us were not. We were controlling us. Yes. And we have to fix our mindset. Simply put, the structures that are on the land, out picture the structures that are in the mind or what or that were implanted in the mind you see on what the structures you see everything with straight lines straight lines straight lines no curves in them no um no arcs angles the angles are always 90 or um 45 no they're all 90 really because that's the only angle that uh, people can really work on to, because they don't they don't understand the little adjustments that one must make or the little turns that one makes to fine tune, because those same squares can be turned into arcs and angles quite easily. That is called what circling the square versus squaring the circle. Yeah. And within each of us, within each of us, not as a group, okay, because the group thing is, it works great, but within each of us, we have all, as, as uh, you know, people are quoting the, um, the Biblios, right? You know, within you lies all the fullness, not some. All the fullness of the so-called Godhead Head bodily, body. yeah. Which means, which means that you have the solutions right now within you, right now. Yeah. It's not within the Moorish American consulate. It's not within what anyone can teach you. Well, we are that. We are that. We're, not, we're the consulate. We're all of that. It's not within anything but you, each and every one yeah. of you, okay? Yeah. And the things that the consulate and the government is supposed to help with is the new structure or the renewed structure of things, okay? Those those things are in place, um, and it's only a matter of the choice that one chooses. Okay, you know, I like this, so I'll do it now. I'm ready for that. I'll do it now. I don't like that, so I'm not going to do it now. 
and I'm not ready for this, so I won't do it now. But when it comes right down to it, within you, yes, you and you and you and you and me are the solutions to every perceived problem. And I say perceived because when you change the perspective, you see the thing that you look at as a problem is actually an answer. And so we just need to take a deep breath and then take another deep breath and recognize that if you want to heal yourself, you just direct those deep breaths to the spots that you need to heal. Whether they are <laughs> hunger, thirst, fear, um, whatever. And just to finish this up, I'm going to ask a question. Who of you, and you don't need to make an answer to that except to yourself, who of you are actively involved in elemental command at all times, not just sometimes? <laughs> and, I'll, and the reason I'm asking the question because I'll give you one of the answers for it. If just the ones that are on this call are active at some time, and if few are active most of the time, that's all the elements are looking for. Okay? So then you want the elements to be in your favor? Start working in that area of you, because all of it is in you. And yeah, you don't need any magic tricks because you're doing it anyway, you just don't know. And that's why the chaos happens. Keep the minds less chaotic, keep the thoughts and the actions less chaotic, and the chaos goes away. Because from the chaos, you create cosmos. And that's what we're about right now, all of us. I will leave with that, and hopefully it says something. Peace and love. Islam. Islam, I like what you said about what looks like a problem is, is, is usually an answer. I like that. That's beautiful. And um, also, you know, when this is, this is something that we are continuing to put forward. None of us is separate from our consulate and our government. You can't be. That's a blood covenant. None of us are separate from our nation. You can't be a citizen at all. Never could be. That only leaves one place, one space, one being, one living, um, one living organ or organism. And that's our sovereign nation and government. We're not separate from that. None of us are. That's why when they say, well, what is the, what is the consulate going to do about this or that? Well, what, you're the consulate, so what, what are you going to do about it? You're the consulate. What are you going to do about that that you saw that caused you some cognitive dissonance? What, is, what are you going to do about that? What do you know to do and how can we help you do it? Because you have to do it. That's what I love about this is, is it makes everyone's um, ability to assist so much greater. It makes it greater because um, we, all we have to do is say, hey, how can I help you do that? How can I help you do that? Because you have to do it. So if, in, if I can help in any way. To, to make to make that manifest through you. And the reason our ancestors make us uncomfortable about things is because they want us to do it. They don't make us uncomfortable so we can pass that to somebody else. We're uncomfortable about it because we need to do it. We need to take care of it. We are the remedy. It's wrong. And um, Empress Michelle was, was speaking earlier about um, balance. Uh, with regard to a healthy nation. 
it is incumbent upon us to um, tap into our Libra energy so that we can get the balance we need. Um, we, each one of us has all of the 13 signs of the zodiac within us because, again, we are the all. And so all we have to do is read up on Libras and see how they respond to things and see how they get that balance and then tap into that, even though you might be a Leo or you might be a Sagittarius or you might be a Taurus or Aquarius. And then when you, uh, when you want to, to, to be the, the all-knowing, Tap into the Aquarius energy. Aquarius is, 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 that's the age we're in right now, the age of knowing. And so that is, uh, we can at any time tap into any of those energies and pull from them and use them so that we never have to be in discomfort or discourse or uh, dis-ease or um, you know, without peace. We have to tap into all that we are, and that's what we're doing now by coming together regularly, meeting and sharing information so that we can see how to move forward. Because where we're going is this. We are going full force with universal commerce. Now that we know to, 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 to terminate the corporate contract and clear the energies, we can move forward. There are our brothers and sisters that are, that are incarcerated. We are by no means leaving them. And in fact, all that we're doing is for them. Why? Because when they come out, Many of them are going to need domiciles and things, and they're going to need jobs. They're going to need not jobs. They're going to need to be point, you know, to, to point and say, this is what I want to do. This is what I, I know my purpose is. And we have to provide, we have to get all of the, uh, the governmental um, processes in place so that we can get them out, so that when they come, and, and they'll get themselves out, but when they come out, they will be able to thrive with us. So we're not by, in fact, all, we're doing everything that we're doing for them and for our heirs and our ascendants. We used to call them descendants, but they're ascendants because they, we, we're going up now. Just like our grand sheik said on Friday, it's liftoff time. It's time to go up. We're, we're ready for takeoff, you know. And so that's where we are now, and that's what we're getting ready to do. But the processes that were put in place previously, we need to have them on the public record because we're going to begin over the next few weeks, um, we're going to over the next few weeks uh, be moving into that space as a nation once the judiciary um, gets uh, gets that process as put together as we can get it put together. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. We're, we're ready for that to happen uh, because it's time for our nation to step up and do all that we can to prepare for both the deluge of moors that are coming to be nationalized because we're going to have to teach them sovereign commerce too. We're going to have to, they've, ne some, they've never done commerce outside of capitalism in every nation for this generation. Our entire generations have never done commerce outside of the capitalist system that was being done by the Albion. Never. This is the first time we're able to do that in our lifetime. How about that for a goal met and superseded? Because we're ready now. And so... Uh, that's where we're going from here. Are there any other questions, comments, um, uh, and anything going on in your territories that you want to bring forward at all? 
We uh, uh, mics are open. The floor is open as well. Uh, let me make sure that I'll, I'm going to mute and then unmute. Uh, well, you can start six and unmute yourself because that can be that can be a bit much <laughs> when everyone gets unmuted at the same time. But if anyone has anything that they want to bring forward, Islam. And if not, we will close out. Uh, oh yes. Are there any more needing to declare nationality uh, that are here on the call so that we can direct you to someone who can assist you with nationality? Are there any more? I think just about everyone is declared here. Also, uh, be sure to go to, and, and, and we're in the process of getting uh, updating the website, so <laughs> It's got a few things on there that need to, you know, be updated. So, um, and then we have other websites that are coming on board as well. So um, keep that in mind also. Um, and there are, um, uh, Empress Minnie, do you want to talk about that briefly? Do you want to make that announcement briefly? Empress Minnie? What you just put in the chat about um, nationality and what you all are going to be doing in your territory? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll just read it then. She says her phone is offline. It says, I'll read what she put in the chat, free help with nationality processing to all in the Michigan territory, to all in Michigan territory, uh, that need help or want to learn more about nationality, birthright, and your divine creed, come join Empress Minnie and her and, and the Moors there. The meeting with the gods, the time tomorrow, Tuesday, August, uh, uh, actually, Empress, is that tomorrow or is it going to be Friday? Or is it Friday? If you could put it in the chat. It must be Friday. You must mean Friday. Friday, August the 28th, 5.30 p.m. at Nandi's Knowledge Cafe, located at 71 Oakman Boulevard, Highland Park, Michigan, Islam mm -hmm. Territory, Highland Park, Michigan Territory. Islam, so they're going to be discussing yes. nationalities, et cetera? Islam. Yes, Islam. Uh -huh. Um, I wow. wanted to um, speak to you. I know you said something. I, I didn't know if you were doing it today or Sunday. I know it was some type of processes that you were going to be speaking of. And I, and I wanted to, uh, before we close out for today, get whatever information that you had on that. Um, you... I didn't have any processes that I was going to um, introduce today. I, I did want to talk just briefly about where we're going because there are some processes attached to the commerce piece that all Moors must have on the public record. You must have the termination of corporate contracts on the public record. You do need to have the postmaster general affidavit on the public, I mean, yeah, the postmaster, uh, universal postmaster affidavit on the public record. And then get yourself a CEO, a sovereign CEO, sovereign governor, sovereign uh, attorney general, and we spell attorney, A-T-T-O-R-N-E-E, -E, general, attorney general, sovereign attorney general, which means it doesn't mean the same thing as them. It's just like a consul. You can even say sovereign consul and then sovereign governor or the bay, because all bays, that's what we are. Um, those, those, um, those affidavits will need to be placed on the public record. Um, so that we can move into the commerce piece because that's going to be the basis by which we do the commerce that we're doing using lawful, gold-backed, sovereign money. That's where we're going right now, like as soon as possible. Uh, but right now the judiciary uh, is working on that process, and this is, uh, this is not the judiciary, the same judiciary that's on the website, although some of the members are the same. Um, so they, the ones that are on the website may not uh, know that much about the process. Uh, this is Judiciary Part 2 um, that's working on that. 
and um, over the next few weeks we'll be bringing the process forward. But it won't be this week. It won't be next week. It will probably be three weeks from now or, you know, within the next month uh, we hope to begin bringing that process out. But again, the process is uh, for to, to begin universal commerce is you have to have those documents on the public record because that uh, the termination of corporate contracts is the most important one to have on the public record. So that as we move through these processes, Can you repeat the process? I think she got booted off. Can't hear. Was she went somewhere? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. can hear you now. Okay. Um, the, 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 the documents that need to be on the public record are the termination of corporate contracts, uh, in all lowercase letters, the nationality, uh, the name change and judicial proclamation in all lowercase letters um, with the subject and, and, and corporations in capital letters. Um, and um, let's see, and then have the sovereign CEO just keep a template because we're going to be, you know, all Moors are the sovereign CEOs of all corporations. So those are going to be going out very quickly because we have to get that part taken care of too. Uh, all we're doing is get and, and also get ready to uh, do the, you have to know how to do court action. And again, court actions only take 10 minutes maximum unless you add more to your scriptum. Um, but those have to be, those are regular occurrences where commerce, universal commerce is concerned because we have to remove the corporate covering off of, of each uh, resource that a corporation was claiming. And they already know we're coming. They've already said so. They talked about it at Davos in January. So um, let me make sure. Can you hear me? I want to be yes, sure you can hear me. Yes. Okay. Um, again, you know, the, the, the name change, the judicial proclamation in all lowercase letters in red on the public record, and you can just upload it to Moorish American Concept Public Records on Facebook because it's free there. Um, and then the term, again, termination of all corporate contracts and a sovereign CEO affidavit. Just get yourself a, a template in all lowercase letters in red proclaiming that you are the sovereign CEO um, so that you can add whatever company resources need to be added there. So, for example, we're all the sovereign CEO of Microsoft. They know that. Everyone knows that um, already. And so all more need to have, if you're going to give commands, you, all, you need to be able to command from the CEO perspective on whatever is, is being done, whatever commerce is being done. And then we're going to introduce the commerce process. Um, most likely we'll do it uh, on a, this type of, on this platform so that you can ask questions. Um, but, we, but it's going to be a process that we introduce and just keep putting it out there and putting it out there because there's so much that needs to be done with regard to our nation. And the commerce piece, those who participate in that piece must know that all commerce is done for all more than not just one. All of the commercial uh, things that we're doing is for the entire nation, entire nation. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're not doing commerce for individual domiciles and things like that. We have to stand up this government. And then the domicile piece is going to just be added unto us. That's a, that's a given. We don't have to worry about that or conveyances or any of that stuff when we get this government visible in all the territories. That's where we're going. And the commerce piece is the start of that. We have to get that going so we can get the structures, so that we can get our government 
uh, in full view, fully manifested. And please don't think this is an overnight process. It is not. It's going to take uh, a little bit of time. But if you really think about the goals that we set even two years ago and how we superseded those so quickly, the goals that were mentioned at the beginning of the call, um, we'll meet and supersede these as well just as quickly. Um, so, and then, again, these are things that are, being, that are going to be done over the next thousand years. So do not be weary in well-doing. It's going to take time, and we must keep working. Uh, now, the Albions did not sleep trying to keep up with this estate. If they didn't sleep, Islam. So, you know, we got Islam. a lot of work to do. Islam, Empress. Um, I didn't hear the uh, different, um, uh, I, well, I heard the Commerce CEO, I mean, Sovereign CEO, but I didn't hear the rest of the things okay. that we, we need to do. Okay, I'll say, I'll say them again. Uh, your name thank change you. in judicial proclamation. Yes, thank you, Empress. Your name change in judicial proclamation in lowercase letters in red on the public record. The termination of all corporate contracts in red in all lowercase letters on the public record. And then once you put that termination of corporate contracts on the public record, do not sign bonds and all this other stuff. Don't sign it up for any other uh, uh, contracts or you've just changed your will or your word. So don't do that. Once you put the termination okay. of corporate contracts on the public record, and, and this is for all Moore's Empress. This is not just uh, – I, I wasn't just speaking with, to you because I, I don't want you to take that personally. It's for, it's for all of us, myself included. We, we cannot do that, put the, terminate the corporate contracts, and then go sign another one. Okay, so let's, let's keep that in mind. And then the termination of corporate contracts, so that makes document number three. So the name change, judicial proclamation, termination of corporate contracts. And then the sovereign CEO, the sovereign postmaster, okay, because we are all the universal postmasters. And you must have that universal postmaster on the public record to do the commerce because the postmaster is in, in charge of all shipping, all banking, and all commerce, shipping, and, and we, we said that in one of the videos that we put out on the public record at Light Tajiri Bay on YouTube, all Moors are in charge of all shipping, all banking, all commerce, to include anything that has to do with blockchain and Bitcoin and all of that stuff. We're in charge of that. All of that stuff is part and parcel of our vast estate, and we need to properly and competently proclaim that so that we can use the, 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 the resources on our land. But if we don't properly and competently compl uh, proclaim that, then there are consequences for not, not being competent. And we, don't wanna, and we want to limit that by making the suggestions to put the things on the public record, and then you do your study as to why you're doing that and all of that. Okay? Uh, Empress, the yes. C, uh, your your uh, Empress Empress Patricia, your 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 thumbprint is the highest seal, Empress. It's the highest seal on, in heaven and earth. Okay. Now we do encourage the Moors to get uh, a, a stamp and seal, but if you don't have a stamp and seal, you do have a seal. <laughs> that right thumbprint in red and your sovereign autograph. Okay, that's enough for all everything to be done. But we use stamps and seals um, to, number one, it, as, a, as a sign of our, our sovereign authority, and also um, to show that we are unified in our documentation. Okay. Um, and again, with the, with the Empress uh, Patricia, with those red thumbprints, what I do is I went to um, any one of the places where you can get office supplies, and I got a, a, the gold notarial seal. 
and I put my right red thumbprint on the gold notarial seal. And that seal is actually the highest ever. So if you put your right red thumbprint on a gold notarial seal, it's 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 proper, very Simple. valid, Nigga. extremely valid. Both the nurses in the back. Nigga, what's up? Okay, Islam. will do. Thank you, Empress. Yes, Islam. Islam. I want to tell them to call my number. Islam. Yeah, or call. Islam. Islam, go ahead. Were you going to say something, Justice? Islam. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Travis L. Russell L. Cleveland Territory. So that's not yes. a prank call. Yes. That's somebody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Justice Travis? Are you there? Okay. So um I think he's he may be having some, some audio issues there. It's wrong. It's, it's long. Long. Go ahead. Go ahead, Justice. Um, Jade Michael, uh, Chicago Territory. Uh, aren't we also, um, at, in, 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 in view of the uh, termination of contract and you don't want to recontract, are we also supposed to put a affidavit of creditor or sovereign creditor where we're using all of the resources as ours after we terminate all contracts, we can reuse That's, the other resources. Yes, that is actually a part of the the termination of all corporate contracts document. That's where we say we've terminated all corporate contracts and anything that we use, such as whatever you're using, ATM cards and all of that stuff, all of that is sovereign resources because they couldn't have even printed them without using some materials from our estate. So we don't oh, have yes. to, 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 to use a, 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 an affidavit of, of creditor because I thought you had an affidavit of creditor that, that you do after you do the termination of contract, but you said that's included in the termination. That's what you're saying. Yes. If you look at the one that I put out on the public record, it will say that. Once I list, once I said that that all of this is is fraud, all of these, um, you know, all of these corporate accounts and things are all fraud. Um, that mm -hmm. is not. I'm not held to any of those contracts because I'm the creditor. Then at the after I listed all of those, I put a, a statement that said something similar to this. Uh, I am the creditor to all the nations of the earth to include all of the resources listed above, you know, um, the, the resources being claimed by the corporations. And the corporations are hereby terminated. Anything, any presumed corporate contracts are terminated. And I'm using those resources. They are, they are now sovereign resources, and I'm the creditor to those sovereign resources. And any resources that I use, I have already set the terms. The terms are I'm the creditor, and I'm not under your jurisdiction at all. That was something similar to what was stated at the, after I listed all of those uh, fraudulent corporate claims to our resources. Islam, so, Islam. Yes, Islam. So, um, and I'll give you just a quick example of that. Um, for example, the bank account. When I terminated the corporate contract with the bank account, um, what I did was um, terminated the corporate contract, told them that the fiat that fiat was was unlawful, and that everything in there is sovereign credit. So I nationalized any any of the numbers going in going through there because again, numbers cannot be capitalized. So it, it's what you call it that makes it sovereign. When the sovereign says, okay, that's no longer fiat digits that you're putting in that computer, those digits, those ones and zeros are sovereign credit. Just like uh, we're not black, 
even though they, they were looking at us pointing, saying, oh, the black, the black. Okay, we say we're not black. We look the same, but we say we're not black. We know that we are, are sovereign and white at all. And so it's what you call it. And only the sovereigns can make a resource sovereign. And that's what we've done with the termination of corporate contracts and stepping up as the creditor in that same termination document. Uh, Empress Light, uh, yes. could you kind of explain the one and the zero thing? I kind of get lost when you say that. Is that a digital exchange where everything is, is going digital? How, how Islam. Do you that? Islam. Islam. May I, um, may I uh, speak to that? Yes. Um, we were taught for the last hundred plus years about ones and zeros. That number that you see is not a zero. It's it's an ought. It's long. Okay? And that number oh. is omniversal. That is why when you take a one and you put an ought in front of it, it becomes ten. And if you take a two and you put an ought in front of it, it becomes twenty. And if you put two oughts, it becomes a hundred or two hundred. If it was a zero, it could not add anything to it. We have been taught incorrectly, and we speak incorrectly, and we must correct our thoughts and our actions. Okay? The zero has no so numeric value. The value of that value. Zero has no numeric value. Zero is zero. Ought is whatever number you want it to be. Oh. Go do the research. It's Don't fine. take my word for it. We've been lied to, and our people have been conditioned into that. So don't speak ought if you don't know what it is, but definitely zero is not a part of the numbering system. Numbers, remember, have value. Zero has no value. Islam, I rest. Islam. Islam, thank you for that, Dr. Right. Shearmore. So, so um, Justice that was asking the question, the um, Justice Jade Michael, the the binary code that they use to transfer electronically, to transfer funds. Um, we just we just give it its proper name. That's all we're doing when we when we terminate the corporate contract. That means that that the those doing business as banks cannot call that what they want to call it because they don't own it. We get to call the resources that come in what we want to call them. And we don't use fiat. We use sovereign, gold-backed, lawful money. And that's what we decided we are calling that that comes in. Okay. And um, because we are nationalizing everything and preparing so that we can do universal commerce lawfully, according to the the, the Constitution says that that all all debts are to be paid in gold and silver. And even though we have no debt, we still use gold and silver to enrich the rest of the earth, being that we're the wealthiest on the earth. So it's what you call it. You know, hopefully, hopefully that, that does that clear it up? Because I can go a little further into that in terms of what they're actually, what is actually being transferred. Because in reality, it's a system that's doing the transfer. It's not the Albion. Only when the Albions are involved is it fiat. But if they're not involved, it's what we call it. That's why we speak by affidavit, and we don't have to go into those places. We just do everything by affidavit or go online and do it, 
and we don't we don't have to be be bothered with that with the Albion. Uh, I have a question. Uh, I still don't totally understand the O. We don't mention the O in terms of what he was saying. We just say aunt or you or the the O shouldn't even be included. Um, it should be included. It, it should be included. Um, he was he was basically speaking about the value that that round symbol makes based on what you call it. So you can call mm-hmm. it if you. So when you call it art, then it adds value, and when you call it zero, it does not add value. So in other words, zero is the corporate name for that symbol, uh-huh. and art is the sovereign allodial name for that zero. Does that help? Islam. Islam. Yes, Islam. In the Quran, what is art? Any more that's out there? You can answer it. In the in in your circle seven Quran, what is art? Truth. What is truth? What is the opposite of truth? Not. Not. Not is zero. Okay. Yeah. Do a little story, like I said. Don't take my word. The, the Circle 7 Quran is just the beginning. The binary code with ones and oughts are how things are done. The one can't yes. produce more of by itself, but the ought being omniversal can produce to infinity. That's why the right. circle that encloses everything is in charge of everything. And gives charge to everything. This is our science, okay? But we must we must stop thinking and talking how we were taught in the animal training centers. We must break out of that. I have said ye are gods. Be gods. Islam. Okay. Justice Jade, Michael, does that the, can can we go further with that, or is that you can go that, further with it for me because I'm I'm trying to understand it because I was wondering if this has any connection with the uh, quantum financial thing, uh, the monetization of credit or monetization period. You know, when we're getting ready to go into this commerce, we, we got monetized, right? So well, we say, you have to know. Uh, you have to one, know. Uh, yeah, you have you have to know what's being transferred. That's important to know what's being transferred, whether it's feudal or whether it's a lodial. And what you call it is the key, you see. What you call it is, now remember, you're not gonna be talking to Albion's about sovereign credit. We don't pick up the phone and call them and ask them about how many sovereign credits we have. We're the bank. We're the bank. I know that's uh, uh, um, that concept right there has not sunk in with most more. We're the bank, have been, always have been, and always will be. And as we move into this, that is the most important concept you're going to need to know, um, is that we are the bank. We're the bank. Oh, I've we're been the, we're that the for a long time. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, we're all of that. Yeah. We're all of that. Um, Grand Sheik says Absolutely. it all the time. We are the estate. And that the, that that process, that principle that yeah, law the of us being yes of us being the estate is um is going to be what assists us in moving forward competently. Uh, Islam Empress Genesis and nothing moves unless and until we say so. Absolutely. But again, more we have to be competent here. We have to be competent. And and I will say this. We are competent. Yes. We are competent. Yes. Yes. As long as we know corporations are not involved, we're competent. Islam. Islam. Um, I applied like four or five months ago for a credit card, and it was sent to me. 
I did not use it. Um, and I terminated corporate contracts. So that means um, what to that card that was sent to me? Okay. That's your so account. here, this is how this is how that works. If you went into that as a citizen, then that's a contract that you need to terminate. And when you terminate it, okay, stop doing that. Stop signing those because they can hold you accountable for that. Stop signing those contracts and all of that. Stop doing all no, that. No, no. What it. I'm saying is I, I was not, not nationalized at that time when I applied mm-hmm. for it. So I have it. I haven't used it. And I terminated corporate contract with um, Discovery. So what I'm asking is that means I can't use it. So. Well... You you need to do the study to find out whether you should use it or not because you know what contracts you have and what ones you don't. We can tell you okay. we can we can assist with knowing that that we cannot sign any contract with them. We can't. And when we do the, the termination of corporate contracts. We don't sign anything else after that with them, you know. Okay. You know. Don't do it. Um, And then you need to do your study on whether you should use it or not because you know the intention behind applying for it or whatever, you know. Four months is not a long time to have proclaimed your nationality. It's not a long time. So do the study. Okay. Because Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Empress Michelle, you want to say a little bit about that? Islam, I just wanted to say that that is their card. They they produce it, so it belongs to them. And I, I would think that if you used it, that it would be, um, you would be uh, agreeing to contract with them if you use a card that they create. That's why I'm on you. Thank you. Uh, when we know better, we definitely must do better. Um, you know, when we know better, we must do better. Uh, we have to. We don't. You know, that's something that we, um, that's important. Uh, and, and, and to anyone who is newly nationalized and you've done something like that recent, recently, the intention is going to be the key. The intention is going to be the key. And the ancestors are, are very, they know our intent. Okay? They know our intent. They know our intentions when we do things. And if, if the intentions are pure, then that's one thing. And if intentions are not pure, then that's something, something else right there, you know, that we have to clear up and clean up. Nobody's perfect uh, but, uh, in terms of, well, and I can't say nobody's perfect. We're all perfect. But our intentions, we're still growing past intentions that may or may not be cleared up and clean. It's um, Islam. Okay. Islam. We are at uh, uh, three. Uh, yes, Islam. Excuse me. Yes, Islam. we're here. Islam. Islam. Um, are you acknowledging me or somebody else? <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. You have the floor for just. We have about three more minutes. A second. Yeah. Uh, regarding what what the. Uh, the empress just said about if you use their car, you're recontracting with them, but you're not, right? Because once you cancel all contracts, you're using all resources on the land. So if you use your car after you cancel contract, you're using it as a resource, right? Okay. Let me let me let me add a little clarity to that. Hmm. Let's just say, and I'm not saying this is the empress that asked the question, I'm just saying in general. I'm going to use two examples. 
One example is someone who knew they were going to declare their nationality, so they said, okay, I'm going to apply for this card in corporate status, and then I'm going to declare my nationality, and then I'm not going to pay them. I'm going to, I'm going to invoke jurisdiction. Well, that the, the intention there is not honorable. Mm. And so the ancestors are the only ones, the, the more and the ancestors are the only ones who know the intention. Now, um, and then the second scenario is that they applied for the card and they did not know anything about Moors. They found out they were a Moor and they said, okay, um, I... I realize now that that's a contract and I need to terminate that contract. That's different than you, again, intention is going to, and no, again, no one can tell you what your intentions are. You know what your intentions are and it's the ancestors know. And so in that case, then you terminate the corporate contracts and then it is a resource on your land, but you know you need to demonstrate at the level of your overstanding. Can you demonstrate that that's a resource and not a credit card? So when the credit card company calls, will you be speaking to them and talking to them and giving them whatever information they ask for so they'll be like, okay, yes, we have a citizen on that side over there. Our intention is everything. And that that is the difference between two Moors can do the exact same demonstration. If one's intention is not right and the other's intention is right, the one whose intention is right, our ancestors are going to honor it. And the one whose intention is ill, the ancestors are going to not honor it and they're going to give them an opportunity to clean up those intentions before any judgment comes. So that's why we say it that way. Because intention is everything. And we don't realize how much of everything intentions are right now, but, but we will. Just keep on living. And you'll see that even the intentions with... Yeah. This one? Can't hear you. It's not. It seems her um, mic went off. Well, well, okay. Someone has to, uh, when she usually just drop out like that, does that mean that she's been uh, yeah. dropped off line? So she'll yeah. be back in a sec. Well, um, I was, uh, I was remembering when uh, she had mentioned on another call that we shouldn't use the Albion for anything, we should use our, uh, not the credit card, debit card from now on. And I was just wondering, you know, after you terminate all contracts and you're using all the resources and you continue to use your debit card without contracting. Yes. You know? Yes, you can use it without contracting. We use them because they are a resource. That is correct. Again, right. uh, uh, I was refer- I was addressing the the question that the empress asked about being newly nationalized only four months. Yeah. Always demonstrate at the level of your overstanding. If you know how to demonstrate that that's a resource, then then use it as a resource. If you can't demonstrate that, then they're then they're going to do what they do. Okay. Always demonstrate at the level of your overstanding. So can you basically load your own debit card from uh, from the gold standard side? I'm talking about if you have a card and you terminate your contract and you're using it as a resource, how do you how do you load that card? Or, or is that how it's done? Or is it right good? now, as right now, as 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 it stands, you would load it with whatever you've been loading it with and whatever you can demonstrate to load it with. And Sovereign again, credit. we're in that. We're in that. Tr- can you demonstrate that? <laughs> I'm hoping to, but I'm trying to understand it more. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's the answer. Okay. That's the answer. Demonstrate at the level of your overstanding. Now, I will say this: we are in a transitionary period. 
where we are moving to um, gov to uh, continue our governmental um, processes, whereby everything is is fully manifested. Because we're in control of everything, we just have to continue manifesting that control. Um, and so that's why you're told to demonstrate at the level of your understanding. Those who can demonstrate that, who have studied to demonstrate it, can demonstrate it. And those who have not studied, just like anything else, you study to demonstrate your nationality, you study to demonstrate everything that you know, and you do it. And then we're going to be providing information and assistance as, as, as it's revealed to us, and you should do the same. As information is revealed to you by the ancestors through your studies, share the information with the more, and so that we can all grow together. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's a great question. That's where my head is. Yeah, that's where my head has been all along. My intent has been to monetize my own credit for years. That's why, you know, and that's why I love this. I love this. Yes. Yes. So I, I hear. How, how long, I hear, have, that you, was, how long it, have you known that you were a Moor? Oh, since about two thousand two. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was studying it. I was studying it way before then, in the late night. Uh, I found out about it. But, wow. Hmm. Been working at it. Beautiful. So, Beautiful. Islam. That's been my goal. Okay. Yes. Islam. 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 Honorable. You? Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Justice. Appreciate your work. Yeah. Islam. Islam. All right. We're going to go ahead and um, uh, close out here because we're about five minutes over. And um, we will pick back up again on. Sunday, um, and then over the next few weeks, not not Sunday. The processes, the process that we're working on now, it's gonna it's gonna be a few weeks before before we're able to share that process in its entirety. The uh, judiciary is working on that process, and um, and when, once we get the process going, we're gonna implement it in all of the, or you all will implement it in all the territories. It won't be us implementing, it'll be you. And we're doing it first in this territory just so that we can tell you what we see and know about how the process works. In the meantime, please be working on doing the energy work, please, where we remain peaceful, et cetera. Um, we must do that. That must be done before we can move any further. On um, clearing energies with regard to your Moorish brothers and sisters, we cannot have aught against one another. And that's a different kind of aught. Uh, we cannot have aught against one another. We have to be more loving and forgiving towards one another um, so that we can continue as a nation because it's not like we can get rid of one another. <laughs> it's a blood covenant. It's a blood covenant. We're, we're in this for the long haul. And so you all are stuck with me, and, 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 and I am fortunate to, to, to be stuck with you, very fortunate. So. Islam, peace and grand rising to the air. I love you, sis. Islam, peace and grand rising to the moon. Peace and grand Yes. North American government in Islam. I hear bowls. I love it. I hear singing bowls. I love it. Grand Rising Tunica. Islam. Yes, Islam. Grand Rising Justice Tunica. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Yes. Grand Rising. Yes. Grand Rising. Yes. Grand Rising. Yes. Grand Rising. Ain't no noise Love. in my background. I was typing yes. this stuff. Grand rising. I know some stuff.